What's good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? J Daisy here with the J Daisy Gaming Channel, here with Iced. This is a little tiny indie game that I found on Steam. Um, it's probably been a while back now, honestly. It's a. Uh, I've been playing just, i played just about two hours of it. It came out on May 15th, 2017. It's retailing for about $12.99 right now on Steam. Um, it has 16 achievements, and I, I say that um, for a reason. I have yet to actually beat this game. This is a survival game where you are a fisherman, an ice fisherman, um, that gets stranded on the lake. It really doesn't say how your boat floats away or whatever. And you have to survive until... Um, someone come to get to you and there are 16 achievements and of those probably about seven of the first ones are all different ways for you to win you know the boat a boat finds you you decide to stay on the ice there's all sorts of these different little teaser achievements for hey you lived I have yet to get any of them in fact I have yet to get past day two because um, this game does something really well and it balances staying where you are and adventuring um, so it's pretty basic. You have a little tent, and in it you can fish um, for more fish, which will give you food. You can cook the food on a little heater that will also give you heat. You can sleep if you become fatigued, and you can store stuff. You have very limited storage on your person, which is good. Um, so that's what your tent is for, and you'll try and spend a little bit more time there because that's where you're safe. That's where you know the storms won't hit you or anything. But outside is where you need to be. You'll find random drops. And I don't think the world is procedurally generated. I think it's the same place over and over because it seems like I find the same drops in the same places. And you'll either just find like a bottle of juice here, a candy bar there, a lunchbox with a, a sandwich in it, or nothing in it sometimes. Or an actual physical big box full of stuff. Uh, I, you know, normally you find like a propane tank and some food or something like that. And what you want to do right away is try and find a flare gun. I have yet to find a flare gun, but it suggests that's one of the first things you want to find because you can't be rescued without it. Um, if you don't have the flare gun, they can't, you can't get rescued. Um, and normally what happens is I will fatigue and fall asleep and die on the ice because I'll be pushing because you can jump to other ice chunks and look around in their ice, uh, ice area to try and find um, you know, stuff there. So you're trying to, so the whole time I'm trying to find a, a you know a, a flare gun and I got back in my tent I got all sorts of food and I got all sorts of drink and I got all sorts of propane but I'm out here trying to find a flare gun and I just die. Uh, it's a very frustrating game. Like I said, I've played about two hours of it. Um, that's probably about four matches, give or take. Um, and it does have a global leaderboard, so they are very aware that their game is tough. Um, it has kind of a wonky control system with tab and E being used a lot to access inventory and access uh, interaction, so that's kind of different. Um, but for twelve ninety nine, it's a really good price for a pretty solid survival game. And I'm sure people will be like, oh, well, all you have to do to survive is do this and this. And I get the basic concept. It's one of those games where I know what I need to do. I get it. I can see it. It's just a matter of execution that is holding me back, that is you know, preventing me from doing it. And if it weren't for those stupid achievements that it, I can mouse over and it'll pop up, hey, this is what uh, an ending you can get. This is another ending you can get. Oh, it just it just burns at me. Um, but yeah, like I said, it has some wonky controls. Um, it does have music, but I, like I, like I say in most of my videos, I really don't listen to music. Um, if you have a very bright mod, I don't suggest playing this in a dark room. Um, because you look at a lot of white, a lot of snow, a lot of, you know, just kind of looking around. And the graphics are all right. They're not cutting edge or anything, but they're all right. Um, if I could make a few improvements, I'd make a few improvements to the UI so it's a little easier, um, to understand why something is happening to you and what you can do to combat it. So, like, if you accidentally drink snow, which I do all the time because left click is what you use to dig in the snow, you hold it, and right click, um, will drink some of the snow to get you a little water back. And uh, that can give you sick very quickly. It's, it's very, you know, one time you'll probably be okay, but if you do it a second time, you'll probably die. Um, and when that pops up, it'll just pop up uh, deliria or dizziness or something. All these little inf uh, affections, um, it really doesn't tell you what you can do to remedy that. You know, uh, go back and sleep, or um, you just need to eat something or take these pills. It really doesn't say that. Um, and I, I would like to see that as, uh, the game seems to be updating. There are, uh, I have seen a couple updates come down the pipeline. Um, nothing, you know, frequent, but I have seen it, so I think the developer's still working on it. It doesn't really feel like a, uh, 
one-off game, but I imagine once you beat it, it's just a matter of trying to get those different endings, which I think will be pretty neat. Um, there is a kind of a neat little mini game within this that you can turn on and off. And if you turn it on, um, what will happen is every time you sleep, you'll have this little mini game of uh, kind of a zombie type thing. You gotta hit them with your uh, uh, snow auger, um, ice auger. Sorry. And uh, if you, the more you can survive, the more you can kill. The it gives you more stamina when you read um, when you come back awake. Um, you can turn that off like I kind of do just because uh, it gets kind of repetitive doing it over and over and it just gives you a set um, stamina when you wake back up. No more, no less than kind of like an average number. Um, but that is, that's kind of a neat little thing to have to fight a nightmare to see how you survive. Um, but yeah, for twelve ninety nine, I think it's a pretty solid little survival game. Um, you know, it's not going to be groundbreaking or ooh, oh my god. It's, it's, it's very basic, but it's a very real world, I think. Um, you die very quickly. You die just kind of, you know, you uh, drink snow and now you have dysentery and you die. Sorry. Um, it's kind of unsur And then, you know, the leaderboard pops up and says, you died of number 4,432 of 8. You know, it's a, it's, it's a very, for twelve ninety nine. I think it's a pretty solid game. Maybe wait to sit, pick it up on a sale if you really want, or, you know, not into survival. You kind of dabble in survival games. I think that'd be pretty good. But if you're a very hardcore you know, first-person survival gamist, and you kind of want something to just play on the side, I think this is a really good choice. Um, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment box. There's all sorts of different ways to get a hold of me there. Um, and as always, we're all in this together. See you in the next one.